cray, beef jerky in the fridge. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Brian's Jerky Journey. This is a monumental episode, actually. It is episode number 60. Six zero. The show. Um, I am your beef jerky loving host, the place to be, the notorious Brian G. So, um, hope everyone's having a great day. It is a very dreary Friday afternoon here, middle of October. Um, again, apologies for not getting these out as often as I can, tying into my uh, 90 second update. Sorry, I'm increasing it now. Uh, it's just been very busy the past couple weeks for me uh, on the job interview front. Um, still uh, in a holding pattern with a half dozen different companies, but literally it's just kind of one of those things where um, if you're a fan of the, the show Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or the Marvel Universe for that matter, um, one of their enemy organizations, Hydra, <laughs> Um, basically had a motto uh, where if you kill one of their leaders, another one comes in its place. So the, the expression is you kill, you cut the head off of one snake, uh, three more you know, come in its place. So literally the point of that is to say that it's been uh, interviewing with a bunch of different companies and there might be companies that I interview with that will pass, but as soon as I hear that they pass, another company comes in its place. So, um, literally, this been, I think this week has been a net gain of a company in my pipeline. So, I'm talking about six different companies right now. Uh, really like them all. Um, those, more often than not, lately, that have been passing have been kind of more at the bottom of my list. So, um, this week, there was kind of a top choice that did pass, and it kind of bummed me out. But um, I felt that, uh, so yeah, so I just kind of felt like um, it was a kind of a long shot, but I really got along well with the people I thought uh, that I talked to there. And um, they, they definitely, it, it was stated that it was definitely a mutual cultural fit, just not for that role. So, uh, it be what it be. I'm not going to say it is what it is anymore. A certain somebody had to ruin uh, that expression that somebody else uh, made famous for years. So, anyway, uh, yeah, so just kind of staying busy there. And, um, you know, it actually talked a lot about the channel in these interviews because they asked about interests and they asked about motives. In a sense, well, I talk about why I do what I'm doing here and just... You know, talking about something that I enjoy doing, hoping to get some sort of engagement, and I have. I actually just came across uh, subscriber number 42 recently, which means a lot to me because that's how old I am. So I basically have a subscriber for every year. So uh, th thanks to those who have subscribed, who have uh, been subscribed since the beginning, those who just subscribed recently. I really mean it. Um, it, it means a lot. So um, yeah, so I'm just trying to stay busy there. Things are moving along, just kind of at a slower pace, but it's moving along. And I, I'd rather be in a situation where I'll have a company pass but two new companies present itself which is kind of uh, actually it was two companies so my first choice and then my last choice and then two other companies just came up recently and they're both very viable options so they're all viable options it's just a matter of just figuring out which one's the best fit uh, from a cultural standpoint and from a functional standpoint and you know seeing if something can work out so so just trying to stay busy there so um, but thought I'd just do a quick review here for episode number 60 um, review a brand that was one of my first reviews and is probably one of the most uh, more well-known brands uh, and it's the Jack Links. So I found these at the store uh, a while back and um, they're um, basically a, they're the Jack Links. It's done through 7-Eleven specific um, but they're very unique flavors uh, more on the exotic side I think. Uh, both beef but flavor wise a little different. So you got your brown sugar bourbon and then you got your uh, Mahalo teriyaki. So talk about uh, uh, Hawaii in past videos. I was a big fan of uh, you know that state when I visited there many many years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, if it's talking about Mahalo teriyaki, uh, I kind of have an idea as to what they might mean by that, and it's what I think it is. Then I'm going to be very happy when I try it. But it's going to be the the second one that I try, because as you guys know, um, I do like teriyaki, so I like to usually save those for the end. So. And not to say I'm disappointed to try the brown sugar bourbon first, but I mean, come on, look how good it looks. I mean, it's basically talking about, um, you know, premium cuts of beef jerky, nine grams of flavor in this, and then uh, 10 grams of flavor in this. And I didn't have a chance to take a picture real quick, but uh, you'll see my little nerd alert thing right over there in a second. So reading a little bit about this, uh, more high level, this is best of eaten by February 24th of 21. So I still have some time there, thankfully. It is a um, three ounce container, actually it says three and a quarter ounce container. 
So it's three servings in the package. I will leave the, um, the nutritional information down below and then leave the um, Weight Watcher Smart Points uh, for the individual serving and for the bag up here. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna read a little bit uh, of a packaging messaging in the back here. And it's exactly what I just said earlier. It says, uh, Jack Links and 7-Eleven have partnered together to craft an exclusive line of meat snacks offering unique flavors and using only top quality beef seasoned to perfection. Whether you are trying this product for the first time or a loyal customer, uh, we hope you enjoy the exclusive savory flavors crafted especially for you and only at 7-Eleven. Enjoy. All right. So that being said, let's go enjoy this package of the brown sugar bourbon beef jerky um, 7-Eleven partnership with Jack Lips. Tenderness, texture, initial scent. Mm. <laughs> so I haven't even opened it up yet. And the aroma from the package is so enticing. I don't know, again, because it's a dreary Friday afternoon here, because it says it's bourbon. It's been kind of a rough past couple of weeks overall still with what's going on in the world, politically, all that fun stuff. But it's almost kind of like, it's almost like having a drink at the end of the day after a long week, which I might very well have. But uh, yeah, I mean, it smells good. Initial scent was good. Tenderness, it's very tender, very easy to tear apart, thick, beefy strips. You can see that right there. Um, I'll smell how we smell in a second, but very easy to kind of take apart and uh, with minimal, next to no effort. So um, just off the initial scent, I'm giving this a five. So initial scent, I really liked. Let's get more of a, a, a you know an idea about the scent and the smell. Again, it's got, you can have a smell right here. Take a whiff, take a whiff right there, take a whiff. So it's basic, it's got a nice, you're not necessarily thinking brown sugar. You got a kind of a, a smokiness that you think might lend to the bourbon. Uh, the brown sugar to me, I'm excited about because you get probably that sweet kick when you eat it, but not necessarily when you smell it. Um, so I'm gonna give it a five as well for scent and smell. And let's see how this chews and tastes. So, hmm. I'm getting a little bit, I get the smokiness, so I thought. I feel like it's like almost like a hint of brown sugar. So. But any heat that this might give off, I feel like the brown sugar is kind of neutralizing it. And it's pretty much almost like an aftertaste as I'm getting it down here of the brown sugar. So. No, it's pretty good. I'm actually gonna give it a four for chewiness and taste. Chews well. It's a good road, beef, uh, road trip jerky. So I'm gonna give it a four, flat and small. Overall swell is gonna be four and a half out of five for that. All right. I have more in my hand here, but I'm gonna put the best back. Let's dig into the Mahalo teriyaki. Um, messaging on the back is the same. 7 Eleven partnership. Exclusive line of meat snacks. Savory flavors. This is a uh, best of eaten by. And I saw it down here. Uh, best by June, tw June 23rd, 21. This is also three and a quarter ounces. Three servings in the package. So again, additional content down there for this. Uh, Weight Watcher points over here. A nice little smoky aftertaste here. So, so let's dig into the Mahalo Teriyaki. Ten minutes extra. Percent. Mmm. Again, I'm liking these scents. I like this exclusivity. So this is, uh, again, I like that. It's actually the way it's looking right now. Definitely got kind of a pork component to it just in terms of the coloring. These, um, they're not as thick, but they're still 
the texture is still pretty much there and for, for, again fairly easy to take apart with little to no effort so uh, i'm gonna give that four for tenderness texture initial scent scent and smell again it's got kind of the smokiness which you kind of lent from the teriyaki kind of curious kind of the hint of the teriyaki it's gonna have a kick to it and mahalo um but yeah uh it's got a nice scent of smell to it i'll give it a four as well for scent and smell and as we uh finish up the special episode number 60 of Brian's Dirty Journey, showcasing the exclusive savory flavors of the 7-Eleven partnership with Jack Links. Let's see how this chews and tastes. Mm. So it's definitely got, it's, un, it's not unlike the types of teriyakis I've tried in the past. It's got, I think, a little bit more of a smoky kick to it. So we're not necessarily getting as much of the sweetness. The assumption would have been with the mahalo, the Hawaiian theme, that'd be kind of a, a pineapple component, a pineapple teriyaki. Um, I'm a big fan of pineapple in general. I, not surprisingly, like Hawaiian pizza. I am the person who likes pineapple in their pizza. <laughs> um, if you've ever cut up slices of pineapple and grilled them, fantastic. Highly recommend it. Especially if you get the charcoal marks on, on the pieces. So good. Something about the sweetness of it and the acidity of it that just gets kind of enhanced once you grill it once you heat it up so um and i've tried pineapple salsa love pineapple salsa do some as weird as it may sound lime chips and pineapple salsa so good mexican restaurants offered that i'd probably be a regular at that restaurant so but it's not so um so i'm not necessarily thinking that it was a pineapple kick to it it's a smoky component that kind of makes it less sweet but not as much heat so um, so I'm going to give this a four for chewiness to taste all around. So four for chewiness to taste, four overall score for that. And uh, yeah, that was good. Thanks. I, I was, I'm not going to thank Jack, Jack Links because I bought it. But another good offering. If you're at a 7-Eleven store and you see that, try it for yourself. Um, that'll do it for this episode number 60. Um, if you like this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you tried this, if you have seen other variants that Jack Links is doing at 7-Eleven that I haven't tried or don't have, think I should, let me know. Um, also, if you like this channel and you want to see it grow, I suggest you hit the subscribe button below, or you can hit, hit it here, watch prior videos over here, and then you can look down at my social media channel at the top where you can see my other social media channels, where you can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, see the Taurus Brian G, and Brian's Jerky Journey on the IG. So, that'll do it for this episode number 60 of Brian's Jerky Journey. I hope you've enjoyed this journey with me. Enjoy me in the next one. Thanks. Thank you for watching Brian's Jerky Journey. If you don't, not Jerky, you suck.